Montcalm tribe don't know what's waiting for him. Gilwyn is ready to continue his journey and to continue uh, hopefully clearing them out and maybe getting some good loot to get for himself. I also have an idea uh, about getting some money because I really would like to travel sooner rather than later. And while the idea of looting a troglodyte infiltration den is not a bad one in any way, there's got to be a better way. And I'm thinking the best way for me to do it is actually to maybe do some um, some crafting. So once all these fools have been killed and their own and they lay in a puddle of their own blood, uh, I might spend some time in Chersonis and uh, let's get the guy with the range first. Oh, oh. and I might. Oh, Mike, 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 Mike. All right, run. Run. We're going to go heal. <laughs> I might do some crafting back at home, but uh, I might be doing that now as we as we wait. Uh, just to get some money uh, rolling in as best as we can, because I just the, the 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 idea is to get a basic wizarding setup, you know, uh, to get enough money to to buy the basic equipment that makes using magic a little easier, and then ideally uh, we'll just use a lot of uh, weapons. We'll kind of mix weapons and magic, uh, maybe putting the torch or rather putting the shield aside and having him carry a lantern in one hand and a sword in another, allowing him to mix up his attacks uh, as best as he can. I don't like, though, that the enemies can actually just kind of operate <laughs> while I'm attacking them with fire. So we'll see how it ends up going in the end here. Um, let's see. Is there anything here that I want? The lantern needs more oil, which we can easily do. We should buy some oil actually because we're gonna want to uh we can actually make some potions i think with oil that we might be able to sell it's been one of the bigger tips i've been given let's set up fire let's set up an alchemy set real quick we can just light that and then let's just drop this alchemy thing here Ooh, i can actually just make it what if i add Water, I think it's water and oil. Yeah, warm potions. That's super easy to make, actually. Uh, let's go ahead and disassemble the alchemy kit and get it back in our inventory. Let's see how much these sell for. Because that's something we can easily do with water and oil. Um, and if we can kind of fill up as much of it as possible, with if we can just sell this regularly... That would be quite good. So, I mean, it's not bad. It's not a bad get. We got 89 already. Is there better backpacks for us here? He's got oil, actually. Let's go ahead and buy the oil. It's cheaper for us to do that. Let's go back home. Well, actually, let's see if anybody else is selling oil around. And then if we can just make a bunch of, you know, warm potions, then... We are in a good, good spot to just... Uh, potentially funnel just infinite money into our system to get the basics all set up. Like, for instance, this chakram. Chakram spells are necessary to use this offhand weapon. We can't use it now. The circlet might be great. 50 bucks for it, though. And then a lexicon, which we can also buy, which is normal spells. Oh, he does sell oil. Let's buy all the oil. And scholar boots? Yeah, let's go ahead and buy scholar boots and put those on. All right. You know what? I'm gonna do some business here. We're gonna make some things, and I think uh, I'll return once I've decided I'm happy with uh, what we've got so far. I'll see you then. Gilwyn's looking a little different now, isn't he? It's been a few days in game anyway, and Gilwyn is completely and utterly changed. Well, gear-wise anyway. 
It's looking a lot more fancy. Maybe even a little more educated. Our inventory has changed pretty drastically as well. We have a lot less being carried around. We're going to get some water here in a moment. But we are currently wearing all scholar attire. Stuff that'll help with our mana, mana cost uh, when casting spells. We also have stashed in our house around 255 silver. But I don't want to take that with me now, because Conflux, while obviously the goal is to go back to Conflux for a little bit and see if I can uh, buy some more useful magical stuff before we make our way out into the world, I still want to take out the rest of the Montcalm tribe, just to try combat a little bit with the uh, magic now heavily ingrained in our combat style. No longer am I going to be carrying around a, uh, a shield. Instead, our offhand will have... Um, a torch, which I can turn off at any point and just carry around. Uh, as you can see, I have this set up here where I was uh, doing some crafting to sell. And while it's definitely time consuming, it's not that bad. Warm potions sell pretty well here in town. So we're going to gather some water, refill our supply, and we're going to head back out. Uh, with the goal of really trying to take out the Montcalm tribe. It's going to be important because, or it's going to be difficult rather, because uh, we're not carrying a shield, so we can't really rely on that anymore. Um, so much so that the backpack that we're wearing now might hinder us more than help us. Uh, we to, to, we're going to have to unlatch the backpack almost every combat if we want to be able to roll. There are backpacks out there that will allow me to roll without penalty, but the trade-off there is a way less space uh, in our backpack for us to, to use. So let's take this out. It's not lit. Uh, and I just want to go and I want to try and fight whoever I can. I love this battle mage look. Our rapier is broken and terrible. In fact, it might even be a broken rapier now that I think about it. It is. Um, and I want a better weapon, but I don't know if there's much better than, uh, than what I'm carrying outside of the giant club that I was using prior, which had its own problems. And if I'm going to rely on quick, quick attacks and the like and striking and moving, I might as well use this weapon in the meanwhile. I think I see a couple of bandits up ahead and the goal is just going to be to wipe them out and to burn them. So let's drop our bag. And now this this new Gilwin, a Gilwin. Oh, they're going to go attack that a Gilwin with crackling power at his fingertips is going to be what we do here. And so we will fire on all of them. And now we move. And hopefully, oh, I gotta remember to dodge. Dodging is left bumper, but they both died. And you're gonna fight me, huh? I gotta, I gotta learn. I gotta learn to. to no, come here. Really? Come here. All right. Screw it. He's running. Let's turn our lantern off. All right. That that fire ability is extraordinarily powerful. Uh, uses up a decent amount. We'll take antidote. It uses up a decent amount of uh, our oil, though. Which is a little problematic. Let's go get our bag. I forgot that looting without the bag means everything goes in my pockets. And that's just not the greatest. But I, now I'm curious how much damage we're going to be able to do to the main boss. I just worry about my health in the process. Did that bird ever come running back? No. Bag over our uh, back here. There we go. Much better. Okay, well, let's see how this goes. We should keep the Firestones in our pocket. Uh, almost exclusively here. Pockets are a little overweight, but we can actually split these bandages up. There we go. All right. It's certainly a new combat style, and I'm going to have to adapt, and Gilwin obviously is as well. But I like it. I like it a lot. Can I cast magic... 
I can actually cast it through the lantern if the lantern's not lit. Now, if we look at the oil usage, it's about maybe a tenth every single time we use it. And obviously our mana consumption is pretty high still. Even though we're wearing stuff that helps it. I just want to finish this. I just want to finish the Montcalm forward off a second time. It's kind of a neat test to be able to... Uh, using the Montcalm tribe as like our testing, our testing grounds for our magic. It's kind of cool. I like it a lot. We should buy some oil before we go uh, and head back to Conflux, just so we have to refill our old lantern. I've got the Explorer's Lantern on our backpack just for light. <sighs> yep, forgot that that was there at the base of that bridge. I will always forget that that's there, I think. It's kind of a, a trial run. We clearly had the skill to fight hand-to-hand -hand with our old equipment. We'll leave the backpack at the entrance once we step inside. Okay, let's drop this here. Did they re... What? No, they respawned again. Yeah, all right, F that. <laughs> I'm not I'm not doing that again. It's it's not really worth it. All right. Um I'm going to run back then to Chersonese, uh rather Sierzo and grab my money and we're going to start heading back to Conflux. Well, it looks like we spent about a season. Um just about just we're playing house, more or less. Uh, the weather is starting to drop a little bit, I'm noticing, as the weather indicator is actually popping up a, a couple of times in the bottom left, saying it's getting colder, which does worry me a little bit, but we have a little over 300 silver now, uh, and I want to make my way to Conflux and see if we can spend that on just really equipping ourselves with some of the best magical gear Gilwyn can get his hands on. Because if we want to travel, uh... I did not mean to do that, as always. One day, I'll remember that up is not map. Um, right is map. We want to travel out. I think we want to go towards Emmerichar Forest, ideally. That's kind of what we're looking to do here. Really? You want to fight? And now you're going to run because you're scared. These things are so annoying. <laughs> they, they swing and then they run. Um, well, while it's running, let's actually make some bandages, because we can. And the Conflux is exactly where we're going. Let's gather some food, because some most of my food is actually rotted away now that I have uh, not gone anywhere. But it's interesting to see Gilwin just terribly different looking. <laughs> not in a bad way, not in like a, it's terrible that he looks different, it's just really cool. To see him... Oh, wow, there's a cooking pot in here. Let's take it, because we can sell it. It's really neat to see him just looking entirely different. After picking up spells and magic and all of that. If we have to fight, we will. Ideally, we won't have to, though. There's really no benefit in fighting in this game. There's no experience, you don't get better at doing things. This game is 110% gear driven. To both its benefit and its detriment. It means the only thing holding us back from sending Gilwin into more interesting and dangerous areas is, is actually our gear. Uh, and instead of grinding out stats, which kind of come naturally as you explore, we're actually forced to grind out money instead and uh, do similar tasks over and over. I think it's one of the game's weaker aspects. I really like the idea of grinding stats because that does kind of come naturally. And uh, grinding gear in this game only only comes naturally for the beginning and then all the good stuff is all purchasable. I haven't really found much in the way of excellent gear dropping off of uh, the beginner enemies. So we have to force ourselves to just exit, uh, force ourselves to go and fight things that might not be ideal for us to fight right now uh, in the hopes that we can outmaneuver them, perhaps outthink them, and take what they have. 
to at least sell. But Conflux is our home, and the game actually seems like since last I've played, optimization has at least changed. The game doesn't stutter nearly as much anymore, which is really nice. I just, we have to get our way into Conflux. I just don't remember the route in which we took the last time around. There's something walking around out there. A pair of people? That concerns me because I don't know what would be out here. I don't think I ran into anything out here last time. It's a little scary. Um, more bandits. Nothing to worry ourselves too much about, actually. They go down with one uh, fire spell. The the power jump and using magic is noticeable, though. This is the hero's path, right? Is this the way we took last time? I don't think it is. Holy Missions Conflux Path. I don't remember if this is the way we did it. Well, well, a visitor. Careful around this place. It's full of nasty troglodytes. If you want to get to the heart of the mountain, which is... This is probably the quickest way, but also the most dangerous. Okay, so let's try it. The hero's path. It's gonna have fully respawned, certainly. I don't like the mana bugs. Okay, well, it doesn't seem to catch fire. Or at least do much damage. Let's drop our bag real quick. Oof! Yeah, we don't do, like, any damage. No. Get me out. Oh, I dropped dead. Wow. Wow. Your body and mind are broken. All that's left is to await the release of death. Strange purple auras swirl around you and give yourself to them, riding a strange dreamlike current passing stars and ghostly figures. It is the dull aches that wake you. The magical auras are not gone, but now you can sense their source. You are in the central chamber below the Conflux Mountain, in the care of the Watchers of the Ley Line. Oh, we actually... We got brought... to them. Well, the problem is our backpack is not here. So... That's instantly an issue. That's Zephyr in. He was gonna. He was the one that was supposed to bring us here. Hopefully, he's the reason we made it. On the brink of death, only to be awoken where we want to be, without everything that we want to have with us. Hmm. We're gonna have to head back outside and find our way around the mountains. Wait, is this ours? That's our bag. Our backpack is here! What? Did we have our money still? We do! We actually made it, accidentally. Oh, wow, it actually worked. Hilariously enough. I wanna buy something. That's a thousand dollars. Oh my God, don't tell me everything they have for sale is pointless anyway. A scholar's staff. Damage bonus. I mean, we might want the staff. Okay. Well, <laughs> our journey was fast forwarded in the most unique way possible. I want to see what we can train with these others then. The fifth watcher has nothing to teach us. Okay. We could trade away more of our health if we wanted to get more mana, though I'm not entirely sure that's what we want. What actually is mana and how do you control it? Mana is energy that flows through all things. With proper preparation, you may use it to force the world to bend your will. I think we've already seen that. Let me actually see something. 
a blue vegetable. You can pull mana from lingering souls with the right technique. You can rest to recharge mana, but be warned, your maximum capacity for mana can only be maintained with rigid focus. If you sleep, it will take time before you'll be able to call upon your full mana reserves again. A sleeping mind loses its connection to the real world, after all. Yeah, no helmets means we aren't quite ready for that. Train. 50 silver. We can get a boon of cold. Let's take it. Yes, I can already taste the Lux Lichette. So, to cast the boon of cold, you pull in any source of cold around you. And then we spend time here. And that's how you generate the boon. It may be helpful to ward off the winter cold, but it's no substitute for warm clothes and a campfire. Well, if we have an emergency, I think that's going to be very useful for us. I think we're going to buy a Chakram just to have it. I'd like to just be prepped. Or we could take this. It's a staff, though. It does 20 damage. But I imagine it's two-handed? It makes mana costs way cheaper, though. Let's take it. I'm curious. That's kind of like the last. No, we can not hold it in our main hand. We have to hold it here. But if I attack, yeah. Unfortunately, this, this is not really ideal. And if we sell it, it's not gonna get us much. I think it's still better for us to at least be wielding a weapon. We only get 75 back for it. It's not a bad thing to hold on to. But it is what it is. I want to look at this. Grant the cold boon, which increases frost damage and frost resistance. Also increases the, your protection to hot weather. Certain skills require this boon to activate. Well. We've got a long way to go. Our journey to Conflux has ended. Now, we are just going to... Let's head out into Cherisinese real quick. Actually, let's grab this mushroom. Termip. That's what we need, right? To, to heal our mana. Let's take an eat real quick and take a look. It is regenerating our mana very, very slowly. Let's take that and we'll learn to cook this thing. Ah, it is re restoring our maximum mana though. All right, that's good. Well, Gilwyn, the world is a very different place for you now. And I dare say, maybe even more dangerous. But, there's a lot to do, and we need to find our way to Burge as soon as we can. It's time to begin that particular journey and see where the world leads us. <sighs> well, I made it. Under painful circumstances, yes, but here I am. The days I spent crafting my new gear have certainly not been wasted. I feel lighter and more in control of this burning within me. A more focused flame, I suppose. The trade-off was trading my steel shell for something a little less tough, but thankfully, I was not alone in that mountain. Onward to beg.